And it's time for me to head to the southeast. Last week, uh, Jace Regan on our Country Viewpoint program interviewed Kingston District Council CEO Nat Traeger. And one of the topics that they moved straight into was the Mariah Creek Boat Launch Facility. It's long been a disputed discussion about this. I mean, the sand built up in the groin, as they say, the jetty and uh, what has been a massive build up of sand that uh, sees the jetty now well, being engulfed by sand that's building up along that part of the seafront but also the closing of the boat launching facility back in 2019 they've now got a temporary matting that they have put on at Wyoming Beach which I've had a look at when I was down there recently and they are getting boats into the ocean there at Kingston through that or others will go down to Cape Jaffa Council has said that um, that they will not reopen the, the groin or the Mariah Creek boat launch facility until um, ratepayers are comfortable with the significant cost around about $7.6 million as a capital project, and it's an ongoing one too, for the groin to be redredged and the boat ramp then reopened. About $400,000 a year would be the ongoing cost to keep that part of the groin open. So this becomes the question. The Kingston Council says that its rate is around $3.9 million. So if they have 400000 in dredging costs there, it's around 10% of their rate revenue to maintain that one facility. Ms Traeger said the subsequent business case and the, and the significance of it, um, the, that would have a detrimental impact on the financial sustainability of the council and that um, as a result, they're consulting with every rateable property owner on their views on the situation. Councils voted at the moment not to proceed with the project unless ratepayers are comfortable with the need for the $7.6 million capital works just to start the project and then the ongoing um, requirement for it to continue. What, what do you think Kingston residents uh, there's an article there that explains that and also council has uh, enabled us um, with that interview from Jason to put up on our own Flow News 24 web page which you can go to and you can uh, go to even Spotify if you like and hear the podcast by simply um, finding that article Kingston won't reopen boat ramp unless rate pays okay 7 million plus in costs that's the article you're looking for it's at flownews24.com.au and it's also they're available uh, on your podcast um, your thoughts um, uh, go to it let us know at the flow and uh, we'll continue to keep you updated with local stories from our regions